forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gant. Thanks, Catherine. We're checking out skies in Birmingham. It's clear outside. Had some rain around the city, but not really any on the city tonight. Temperature sitting at 79. All of that wet weather is well to our east. Look at the Atlanta metro. Heavy rain, thunderstorms, frequent lightning. We're clear of that. There is one little storm developing near Fort Payne right now. It looks like it's just bubbling up, though. It's likely to dissipate. Not going to really be that impactful. Looking at our future cast through early tomorrow morning, I do anticipate maybe a spotty shower. Early in the day, but otherwise, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s will see some peaks of sunshine. And then by afternoon, we'll see the return of those isolated showers and storms. By 11 a.m., 86 in Jasper, 86 in Birmingham. Here comes the wet weather, though. By 2 o'clock, a line of thunderstorms. Today and tomorrow, really going to be our more active days that we have in this seven day period. But keep in mind that not everyone gets the rain still. If you need the rain, maybe tomorrow's your day. And if you didn't get some today, maybe you'll get some tomorrow and vice versa. By 5 o'clock, we'll see a little break in the action. I'm not calling for the all clear because there could still be a few lingering showers at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. And then by midnight, I think we should start to clear out pretty nicely. By early Saturday morning, it's the weekend. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s. A relatively quiet start to the weekend, but again, some afternoon showers and storms likely to develop. I think any of the activity we see on Saturday will stay to our east. Temperatures will notice upper 80s, low 90s, and then a clearing sky through Saturday evening. And that clearing sky is because of some air moving in from the north. And that drier air will also mean lower rain chances as we move into the weekend. And by next week, we're going to see very limited opportunities for any rain whatsoever. Generally, when I talk dry air, I talk a big warm up, but not so this week. We're actually going to see temperatures trending one or two degrees below average. So, can we say it's cooler? Hey, we'll take what we can get, right? Well, one thing heating up is the tropics. We are still tracking the storm out in the open waters of the Atlantic. It is Tropical Storm Josephine. Now it is expected to skirt just to the north of the Lesser Antilles, then veers north as it kind of reaches north of Puerto Rico there. It's expected to begin to weaken back into a tropical depression by early next week. Stays out to sea. I call this a fish storm. And for us locally, we're just staying dry. No impacts across Alabama from Josephine. Couple more days of rain, then we're drying out and temperatures dial back just a touch as we move into next week.